Uh, if I can get Ashley uh, Banfield back, who's, of course, joining me for this coverage, she's going to pick up on her watch in just a few minutes as we wait for this press conference. I wanted you to join me. You're going to love uh, meeting uh, our, this guest. I had her on earlier in the show. Uh, her name is Haley Breton. Uh, her family has just such a connection to these kinds of incidents. Her brother got out of surgery. He's young. He's strong. He took four shots from this guy uh, in a bar, but he survived. He, he just got out of surgery. Uh, he's in recovery. He's on the ventilator, so we're still waiting to see what happens. But their family was also victimized in 2019 by a random shooting in a Walmart parking lot where Justin, the kid who you her brother, who's fighting for his life right now, lost his father who got shot by this guy. They didn't even know. Same family in Maine twice, four years. Uh, Haley, uh, what does this mean? First of all, any information on your brother since I last talked to you? Yes. Yeah, so he went down for the surgery on the way down there. Um, he didn't do well um, on the breathing bath. They did get him down there, stable enough to open him up, but they weren't able to do any type of surgery that they were hoping for just because he wasn't stable enough and they didn't want to risk it. Um, so he is now back in his room. Uh, they did get his blood pressure and uh, ventilation and everything figured out. So he is all right as the mo at the moment. All right. Thank God. Thank you for that update. Uh, and, you know, I can't wait to hear more and better. Ashley? Well, Haley, I, if I can ask you, it's a difficult question, but, you know, I had a profound response to hearing that this suspect is dead, and I'm not as connected to it as you and your family. I wanted to, you know, get your feelings about hearing that and the emotions that go through your head um, when, you, when you heard that headline. Yeah, so um, I got the phone call, actually, and said that he was found dead. He committed suicide, um, and it was a relief, like, just to know that he's not out there anymore and no one else can get, no one else is going to get hurt by this man. Um, honestly, I was hoping for him to go to jail and face the reality and the trauma of it, but, hey, at least he's off the streets and there's no more concerns and people don't have to be scared, oh. hide, and... Wait everything else who gave you who gave you the phone call who who'd you get the phone call from it was from uh i can't remember the name but it was from news nation so it was it wasn't law enforcement that called you to let you know no this is reporting that you've heard okay yes okay. all right kid we're going to be watching this press conference i appreciate you please give us updates on your brother uh let us know I if will. there's any way we can help and i i can't wait to report the news uh that he's doing better and I thank you yes, so much for joining you. us. But I, we knew you, we knew your family deserved to hear this information. Uh, so we yes, got it. Yes, it was it All was right. a lot of relief. <laughs> no, absolutely. And we'll speak to you soon. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.